This is either the most amount of money that I've ever wasted or the beginning of the best Christmas ever. There's no room in between. I went on eBay and I found a listing for this mystery boxes advent calendar that is supposed to build like a tree and it's made of 24 boxes. It was also way too much money. Mystery boxes are either fun or a scam. So I'm just gonna go and open it because I can't do this any longer. Like this is, we're not even waiting for December this year. This person who prepared these mystery boxes, I've messaged with them a few times. First to make sure and request that this is a food theme edible advent calendar, then they contact contacted me to say that I had to go and pick this up. So I actually went and picked up the advent calendar myself. If anything is broken in here, it was my driving. Oh my god. I don't even know how I'm gonna show this to you guys, but I'm gonna find a way. Okay, so... I am scared. I'm gonna try to build this the same way they had on the pictures on the eBay listing. Some boxes are very small. Others seem to be pretty big. This is day 19, for example. I should probably not be doing this in this position. So let me get the tiny little boxes out already. Oh. Wow, there's a lot of bubble wrap in here. If you're wondering how everything, everything seems to be in great condition, well, I don't even know what to do with this. Oh my god, it's like... Oh my god, there's a lot of boxes in here. This is just my friendly advice for you guys. This is a great video for you guys to go and make a drink or a snack and to just sit. Just pretend this is like Christmas day a whole month earlier. 24 boxes is a lot now that I'm thinking about it. Maybe the price was worth it. Just the inboxes alone and stickers. Pause the video, go make a hot chocolate, something to eat, light up a candle, get those cozy Christmas vibes going. And that is officially, that's everything that was inside the box. I'm gonna have to find the picture on the eBay listing because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to put this together. This is supposed to be a Christmas tree. Let me see if we can do this. It starts with the 24th. Where's the 20? Oh my God. It looks smaller on camera, I'm kind of disappointed looking at it. It's pretty big. 24 days of mystery boxes. Ideally, I would open one of these a day. I don't have the patience for that, so we're gonna open everything in this video. The person who makes these, they make different types of advent calendars. Most of them are with toys and games for children, which I wasn't really interested in, so I kind of hope that mine is something that I can eat. I need to move this, so I don't know I'm gonna do that. No, no, that's not a good idea. Okay, maybe I can just get this is working. Yeah, that works for me. That's pretty good. This is so tall that I can't even fit me and this on the same frame. So we gotta, you just gotta believe me that the first week is there somewhere. This truly feels like Christmas day. It feels like I'm putting the top of the star on the tree. So this is day number one. Mystery box number one is, it's very tight. <laughs> uh, immediately, yes. It's a Santa Claus made of marshmallow that is incredible how is that even possible and it's it's got a little stick kind of like a lollipop this is a great day number one i know the box is very small so there wasn't much they could fit in here the budget is saying a giant statue of a marshmallow santa claus rather than a tiny little head but i'm not freaking out yet there's a lot of boxes to go through so i'm not even worried the bubble wrap the stuffing everything is very nicely packed i do think they spend a lot of money making this like it feels wrong, it's not even December yet. I think in order to fit things in here, they actually cut. This was supposed to be like a lollipop. It is truly marshmallow. Oh my god. <laughs> that is incredible. It's kind of like a peep. A peep? <laughs> Santa Claus's peep. <laughs> Spongy and sweet. <laughs> As far as a marshmallow goes, that's the greatest marshmallow anyone could produce. I also don't know how they managed to fit this in here. Like... Box number two, and this time around, let's hope that the budget, let's hope there's a little bit more of a budget in this one. It's very loose. Wow. I, yep. No, that makes sense. It's not edible. It is a Santa hat. It always comes out in advent calendars, just usually not the ones that cost this much, but you know, I'm gonna keep, 
I'm positive this is gonna be fine. This is what we receive. Maybe controversial opinion, the 2nd of December, it's a little bit early to wear one of these. Like, this is save it for the 23rd, the 22nd, maybe, if you're pushing it. The 2nd of December? This is too early in my opinion. How did they manage to do this? Literally, actually not possible. Wait, we kind of got there. Oh, so day number three. These smaller boxes are probably really difficult to come up with things to put in it because there really isn't that much space. Like, this is very small. Day number three is... A hostess? Cake? It looks like a snowball. Hostess is the brand that makes Twinkies, I think. It's not melted or anything. Like, it's pretty good condition. It just looks like a snowball. It's basically a Twinkie. It's a snowball Twinkie. It's pretty good. Creamy and processed. It's perfect. I'm gonna try to put this back in here and then maybe I'll actually open this on the 3rd of December. Probably not gonna last that long. We're gonna move on to day number four. Mystery box number four is... I think it's empty. Is this? Day number four, is this what I think this is? Are these nipple tassels? Is that what you call it? <laughs> I'm not making this up, this is what this is. On the fourth day of Christmas, <laughs> I got nipple tassels. <laughs> I am pretty sure this is what this is. I am not a connoisseur, but like this can be anything else. I kind of like it. I also didn't know that the inside of nipple are made of leather. That is comforting to find out. It's gentle on the nipple skin. Merry Christmas. I know that people made adult advent calendars. That's not what I ordered. Day number five, honestly, anything could happen at this point. I am terrified. Next up, this is truly a wild ride. We go from nipple tassels. This is this gotta be illegal. <laughs> Straight to hell. The people who made this, but also me. Miniature chocolate Santa. This is turning out to be way more surprising than mentally I'm capable of handling. Day number six is... Kinder, these are Kinder hippos. These are basically biscuits in the shape of a hippo. So one is white chocolate and the other one is dark chocolate. My favorite one the white chocolate one, it is the best one. These do make a mess when you open them, so just get ready for... Can't even be mad because these are actually the greatest snack ever. Just listen to this. These are so good. They could fill up all the days with just these and I would be happy. We are officially done with the small boxes, so now we're gonna go into the big boxes. And seven, I would say, is the biggest box out of this whole thing. This is the biggest box yet. Box number seven is... I personally love this one. This is by far the best one so far. This is like a... It's a reindeer milk mix, a pumping fun way to mix flavored milk. We're just gonna open it. I mean, it is what it is. This is fascinating. I don't understand. That doesn't seem right. We gotta test this out. I told you guys to get a snack. We got some milk and some cocoa powder to test this out. And this is a bit dusty and everyone's gonna tell me that I'm gonna die because I didn't wash this. I probably am. And if I did, I think the world deserves it at this point. I have pestered everyone for long enough. I'll just, I'll own it. So we're gonna put the milk in. This is very much not how you make flavored milk. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space for the cocoa powder. To me, this is already worth the budget. This and the little hippos, I'm happy. I'm gonna add some cocoa powder. I hope you can see it. I wasn't expecting this to become a gadget video, but here we are. I did tell you guys to go get a snack. It's one of those videos where you will need a snack to get you through this. So the straw is supposed to help you. Okay, this is the greatest thing ever. Now, does it work? No, really. Why is the milk turning blue? I should have definitely washed this. My cocoa powder is very intense. It's like a 90% cocoa powder, so it might be why this is not. Honestly, it's pretty great. Day seven is the greatest day of this advent calendar I could possibly have ever asked for. Do you know those machines to froth coffee from TikTok? A little whisk, like an automated whisk, basically does that. The milk tastes airy and light, almost like a milkshake. So if you need to get anyone a Christmas present this year, this is a Christmas present to get. Well, 
This is the last box out of frame, so you guys will be able to see the size of the boxes from now on. Turns out the eight is the biggest one, not number seven. I think this might actually be the biggest. Maybe 17 and 18 are quite big as well. This is a thing that exists in the world, and I didn't know? My life, my life officially has a before and an after this moment. This is Oreo popcorn. Let me repeat this, Oreo popcorn. This is straight out of my fictional food videos. Made in America, I don't need the label for that. Non-GMO corn, you do need the label for that. Wait a minute. Wait, there's more? This is beautiful. These I did know that existed. I didn't expect to get it. Snow-covered Oreos. I guess to make this more like Christmas themed. When I was little, I used to actually take this to school. Like this was my school snack. My legacy has always been health. This is great. This is honestly, day eight is better than day number seven and it's getting better and better. Oh my God. At last, America, two of your favorite snacks are joined together in amazing deliciousness. Light fluffy popcorn, cream coating. A cream coating? A cream coating? That's physically possible? And real Oreo cookie pieces. On my fake food video series, didn't I come up with this? And at the time it didn't exist? Have I been... Scammed? But I can't scam them, they are Oreo. Right? I am going to open this. I want this to last for as long as possible. I don't want too much air to get in it. I cannot believe this is real. I'm trying to give you guys... Wait, they actually managed to make this. It literally is covered in cream? And Oreo pieces? Oh, oh my god. This is life-changing. Are you kidding me? This is made by the Ryan Seacrest Foundation? Whoever made this deserves some kind of award. How is it creamy and crunchy and crispy? And this is so, so good. I literally cannot believe how insane this is. Day number eight will be known as the next Christmas miracle. I ate so many of these that they don't even register as food to me anymore. I just wonder if these are exactly the same. I think they are. Now they're just called snowy Oreos instead. I mean, they are great, don't get me wrong. They are pretty incredible, I'm not gonna lie. Like, these are... They're still great. I just feel like anything in comparison to the popcorn... I'm gonna put these in a Ziploc bag or something, because these gotta last. Day number nine. It's not like you can get a lot better, so... <laughs> Wait, let me... Let me see this from every angle to make sure that I'm seeing this correctly. <laughs> this is weirder than nipple tassels, and that's... That's a lot. A jar of gummies with the name Caitlin on it. Everyday sweet jars. Best before... May of 2021. This is expired? If anyone is named Caitlin and has a death wish... On the ninth day of Christmas, I received Caitlin's expired candy. I don't blame them. Day number eight, the budget went into that. So, you know what? I'm not mad. This is, this is fine. I am grateful. eBay scammer. I mean seller. I'm not even surprised that it's expired. I'm mostly surprised that it was meant for a Caitlin. Maybe they're just recycling presents? That would be really clever. You know what? I... I gotta give it to them. Oh, that smells sour. That does not smell good. No, it still tastes good. How long ago was May? It was six months ago. Okay, maybe I should stop. And the box came decorated in pink, like, like someone was actually gonna be very excited about... Oh my god! It says Caitlyn on it. Merry Christmas, Caitlyn. And on this amazing note, day number 10. Day number 10 is... Day number 10 is a bicycle, a bicycle shape pizza cutter. I love this. This is, it's one of the best ones. This is easily top three. This would suddenly be the top selling Christmas present in Italy. So Italian viewers, search no more. It's right here. It comes with a stand, so wait, I don't know how you're supposed to. S it comes with a stand so you can put it in your kitchen. This is Genius. I love it. It's perfect. I'm happy to see my budget being finally put to use on a 99 cent product from 
AliExpress. But that's besides the point. It's the Christmas spirit that counts. This is really good. This is really sharp as well. It's not one of those pizza cutters that are made of plastic. I don't have pizza here. I wish I was prepared for this. Just imagine we have a triple pepperoni pizza here. I love this. This is this is the perfect gift to re-gift this Christmas. I'm just gonna put it in the box and I'm gonna make my advent calendar worth a lot more. This is why I am the genius that I am. It's also why nobody in my family is excited to ever receive presents from me. Day number 11. I do think the budget is increasing as we're going through this. The very first boxes were tiny little chocolates and simple things and now it's getting like gadgets. If this is gonna get better all the way to the 24th, I'm expecting an iPhone, an iPad. Day number 11 is... <laughs> How is this real? Day number 11 is... It's a can of jelly beans. This looks like baked beans, but it's jelly beans instead. I kind of love it. And also, I mean, we gotta open this. There's no other way. Suitable for vegetarians. This is a real product. This exists. Someone is making this and people are buying it. If you guys ever have a business idea and you think it's stupid, trust me, you can make it. They can make it. Anyone can make it. Someone somewhere in the world was eating jelly beans at 3 a.m., lying in bed, and they had the thought, I'm gonna put it in a can. It opens just like a real can. Like, it's literally made of metal. Okay. That is disappointing. I was expecting this to be filled with just jelly beans. It's actually... Oh, it's too hygienic for a product like this. I wanted my jelly beans to be mixed with metal rust. Some condensation, like soggy, kind of gross. That would sell this for me. This would have been... This would have been what I expected from this product. I'm not a big fan. I don't, oh, no, it's not too bad. Just very interesting. Day 12, and this is before we go to the smaller boxes again. It's a big box for a small product. Like this is just fluff, but this is crispy m and spread. This literally looks like something that I would come up with in my videos. It's covered in M&Ms. How are these products real and I've never heard of this? Is this coming from like Australia or something? Like even in America, I've never seen this on sale. This is actually incredible. Look at this. I don't think you guys are ready for... I don't even know what these are. Like miniature M&Ms, like crispy ones. This would be great as cereal as well. It's not Christmas themed, but the Christmas magic is in here. This is magical. It's also like literally made for me and we're still so far from the 24th. I'm gonna try this on some bread and I want all that crispiness. The rest of it will be just chocolate, but the first piece of toast that you eat with this, that is gonna be incredible. It doesn't look great. It doesn't smell like M&Ms. It kind of smells like just chocolate. This is so weird. It doesn't taste like the crispy M&Ms at all. Those are my favorite ones. I know these really, really well. It tastes like Nutella with Fruit Loops in it. That's literally what this is. It's Nutella Fruit Loops. It looks like it, it tastes like it. The mixture sounds gross, but it's surprisingly good. I would say this is superior than Nutella and that's saying a lot. So, number 13. It looks small, but they're very long, so. It's a little underwhelming. We've got a chocolate bar. A broken chocolate bar. It's great, but I mean considering everything that we've had so far. This is a hazelnut fortune cookie chocolate bar. It's a chocolate bar with a fortune, a fortune cookie message inside. This is also expired in September. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard of anything like that. It's a fortune cookie. This is genius. I'm not even mad at the fact that this expired two months ago. It is broken. I don't understand where the fortune message is. It's a very interesting, unique look for a chocolate bar. So I guess we break one and is okay, this one. And the message is gonna be inside. That is not this good. There's no message inside. No? Oh, wait a minute. It's... 
it's just a sticker. <laughs> it's just a paper in here. I'm gonna make a prediction. This fortune cookie message is going to describe my love life in 2022. So here's the message. Good things take time. <laughs> Do not eat this paper. <laughs> they know me. Your lucky number today is 45. The actual chocolate, it's expired. It's very hazelnutty, but it's not the best. It doesn't taste like good quality chocolate. I can't explain. Our hopes are on the 14th. It can only get better from here. I guess good things take time. I just want to show you that this is the actual message that I got, that I'm not bamboozling you. The 14th of December. <laughs> I should have definitely not shaken the box as much as I did. A whole drink? This is a... A chocolate chip cookie dough bites soda with pure cane sugar? <laughs> this is a cookie dough soda. Like this is an actual thing that exists. You know the cookie dough bites? I've had them before. They're not, honestly not the best. <laughs> I have a whole series on YouTube about this kind of product. I just didn't realize that someone was actually making them. How am I gonna open this? I don't have like something to open. Wait, I did shake the box quite a lot, so I am scared. Wait, let me... This started very Christmassy with the little chocolates and everything was very cute and the nipple tassels and now it's like It tastes like medicine. It does taste like cookie dough though mixed with medicine It is very sweet. I also love how in the front it says the original chocolate chip cookie dough soda There's not gonna be a knockoff. Surprise there's a market for the original This sounds like a product that I would come up with in my videos and you guys would tell me that this would never make it Why do I not believe in myself this much? This is really gross. I, I, I just have no words I appreciate that on the 14th we got something even more original than some of the stuff that we've seen I would never purchase this myself though. I didn't realize how weird and strange this advent calendar was gonna be Sounds like sand. It's a deadly tarantula That's a new fear on the 15th Please something to help wash down the cookie dough bites from the day before That's that's useful. It's it's one of those one of those milk frothers from TikTok You know people use these to make coffee easily whips up creamy delicious froth for cappuccinos lattes Mochas and milkshakes. I think I might have tested one of these in my videos six years ago before they were popular now They're kind of everywhere. So I'm assuming the technology got a lot better. How do I know if I put the batteries the right? I did these are very powerful these days. This is a whole lot better than I remember. You guys know I can't go to sleep without giving you a review of this product. It's just, it's in my nature. This is my call in life. It's not a whole lot of milk because I'm hoping that this is gonna be quick. We've got a lot to go through. This is the brand L'Express. This is very good. That was so quick. Like I kinda wanna show you. Do you see how creamy that is? And you can really bring it up. Ooh, why does that sound like the window XP error? I don't want to be dramatic, but I think we've made whipped cream. We have whipped milk into basically cream. This is more powerful and quicker than my expensive milk frother from my coffee machine. To me, one of the best ones so far. This is a great idea to put in an advent calendar. If this was the 24th, I would be happy. This is great. Watch the 24th be something so disappointing that I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. This is so tight. It doesn't even move. This is... These are chocolate planets. A heavenly selection of... Ec ec I don't know how to pronounce this word. Whatever. Handmade chocolate planet. Each planet has got a different flavor, so the sun is orange cream. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Wait, how do you open this? This is beautiful. An incredible Christmas present. This is no advent calendar material. Are you kidding me? And each planet has got a different flavor. Wait a second, the sun is not a planet. Venus is peachy cream. Earth is praline cream. I actually want to re-gift this for Christmas to myself. This advent calendar is full of ideas for 
Christmas presents. You're welcome. I have just done the research for you. This is so freaking cool. Which planet should we try? Should we try any of them? I kind of want to save them. I did say I didn't want the sun to be in it. Oh no. Oh my god, it's like the big bang all over again. I am confused. So if that's the sun, sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Mm, that does not make sense. How is Saturn brown? I am so stupid. I am going to try Earth, which is a praline cream. So Earth is this one. You know what? Earth. I hate Earth. I would honestly live in any of the other ones if I could. I'm gonna try something else. I have no loyalty to Earth. Honestly, I've tried it once. I hated it. I'm gonna try Mercury. It's chili and cherry ganache. So this is Mercury. This feels so special. No! Oh my god. This is bougie. This should be the 24th. The flavor. It's so good. I couldn't taste the chili, but I can feel it in my throat. If anyone in my family is wondering what they're getting for Christmas, this. I am buying so many of these for everyone. So the sun is supposed to be orange cream. I don't like orange, but this is incredible. So I think this is Venus, which is supposed to be peachy cream. That tastes like children's yogurt. I love it. I mean, this is truly incredible. Next up, we've got Earth, which is supposed to be praline cream. Damn it, it tastes so good. It looks interesting in the center as well. kind of hate that my favorite one so far was Earth. This is Mars, which is caramel salt. Uh, that's exactly what Mars would taste like. These people are genius. Next up, I think we've got Jupiter, which is just praline. Ooh. I don't like this one. It's soft and weird. Wouldn't go there. Saturn is mocha cream. The creamy one is the best ones. Every time you see cream, incredible. Highly recommend Saturn. Two final ones, Uranus, which is blueberry ganache, and Neptune, which is toffee caramel. Wait, I think it's the other way around. Yep, that's blueberry. Both really good, but the best one, hands down, for as painful as it is for me to admit this, Earth was the best one. It was truly incredible. This was worth the budget alone. Oh, it starts to get really dangerous because it's like a double layer, so this one is barely holding in there. We move on to the 17. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, it's like a giant... Um, Love Hearts candy. This is basically a shortbread version of it. This, once again, sounds like something that I would come up with. This would be great to re-gift. I cannot believe that I'm actually opening it. Ooh, this actually looks really cool. Why does this actually look like good quality shortbread? It looks like expensive shortbread, like light and very like, oh, it smells so buttery and it's got messages on it. So this one says, hug me. This one says, love you, be mine, and I have no idea. Honestly, people who have no idea what it says on these. Like, it's some of these are so difficult to read. You can read the ones that says, hug me, and that's it. The rest you might have to see on the box. It does give you a description of all the messages from the box. That might be the only way to try and match. I guess that's like a fun game. I like shortbread on Christmas, very Christmassy to me. It does remind me of Christmas. So, oh my God. Once again, it did not disappoint. So it's been a lot of hits. It's been suspiciously good. So please don't fall. It's surprisingly defying the laws of gravity. <laughs> I literally can't show this on camera. <laughs> Edible underwear. This is candy underwear. First of all, okay, I'm not gonna pretend like I didn't know that was a thing. I knew that was a thing. This is called a candy posing pouch. Underwear made of candy. When I told them that I wanted an advent calendar with a theme of food, I didn't mean this. One size fits most, sweet and sexy. <laughs> it's 300, it's 381 calories per 100 grams. <laughs> 
It's actually got the nutritional information, so... It's just candy, really. I'm so used to giving, I don't know how to receive this Christmas. Oh my god, it's... Should I put it on? Wait a minute! Why is there so much space in the bag? I am so sorry, I was raised with Christian values. I don't know how we ended up here. I think I just lost myself along the way. This is... It's truly... <laughs> is anyone hungry? I don't get how this is fitting for an advent calendar. However, it's surprisingly fitting in my body. I expected anything food themed for this advent calendar. Not this. Not this. When I was little, I used to have one of these, but it was a friendship bracelet. Talk about an upgrade. I still cannot with that. I can't show you this on camera without being censored. It's quite the sight. I love being a family-friendly channel. I love making good Christian Christmas content. So on that note, day 19, please don't be anything else that's gonna get my channel demonetized. The relief that I literally felt. Oh my god, when I saw the Reese's logo, I was like, yes. So we've got a Reese's classic cookie. These look insane. Crunchy, salty pretzels dipped in drizzled for delight. If you think this is delight, you should have seen the 18th. And last but not least, we've got some Reese's Christmas trees in white chocolate. I've never had the white chocolate ones. I mean, that's... So good. Immediately, yes. Salty, sweet, literally perfect. I'm gonna save these. I didn't know the Reese's makes cookies, but they do. They've... Wow. To be honest, I didn't carry the box with the most amount of care. I am surprised that everything so far has actually not been broken, so this is definitely on me. It's a very soft cookie. It tastes healthy. It reminds you of the Quest cookies, like protein cookies. Mm -mm. I don't like it. These, I know they are great because I've tried them before, but if you've never had one, the problem with these is they're very, very soft. They always arrive melted. This is so good though. Incredible. It's basically the classic Reese's, except instead of being dark chocolate on the outside is white chocolate. It's really good. It's as good as the original ones. The 19th, a huge success. Three different items. I didn't like the cookie. I don't think anyone would like this cookie. I mean, they really need to rethink this recipe. This is objectively tastes like dirt. Our tree is getting smaller and smaller, but something tells me these four, these are probably gonna have to be pixelated, all of them. On the 20th of December, this is when we start to get into Christmas mood. We've got... Oh, this is really cute. So on the 20th of December, we've got an edible Christmas tree. It's literally like a giant Christmas tree. I really want to re-gift this. It's got the price on it. It's literally got the price on it. It costs $2.50. But I'm not mad because I do think the budget went into different things and I'm so happy with the whole experience. I'm not mad that this this expired in August, on the 20th of August of 2021. It was two months and two weeks ago. Okay, fair enough. That's not too bad. I'm definitely not re-gifting this, so I'm just gonna... So there we go. This is pretty incredible. For $2.50 especially, this is really, really cool. It's already broken, so... It tastes like expired chocolate. That literally has no flavor. It's just texture of chocolate. These are the final ones. 21st. That's no food. Oh my god, please don't be a sexy costume. Sexy Santa costume. Oh my god, please don't be inappropriate. I'm so scared of opening this. It's a tablecloth? Oh no. Oh my god, it's an apron. Oh no. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Wow. I... I like it. <laughs> Maybe a little inappropriate, right? If this was for children. I actually really like this. I think this is fun. I would use this to cook. And also, Merry Christmas to my subscribers. And this is, I'm assuming, the male version of it. Well, if that doesn't say a lot about society, gender, 
and everything in between. Not everything has to be sexy. Santa being one of those things. Me on Christmas day cooking the turkey and doing my outfit reveal. I hope my family loves this as much as I do. I want to remind everyone before we move on, I am not in control of this. I would also be lying if I didn't say that I'm secretly loving how weird this is. Oh my god, this better not be what I think it is. It's something inflatable. Oh my god. Oh, wait a second. This is not inappropriate. Ugh, this is very difficult to close. I think this might be broken. I've never been more relieved in my life to see something become a deer. The people from this calendar really put me through it. I have been through it in this video. I think this is broken, but honestly, I don't even care. I am serving taxidermia. That's what's happening. I think this is like a game to throw the rings into the antlers. Is that how you call it? An antler? This is something really cute as it approaches the 22nd. By the 22nd, my family is usually with me and we're usually bored. So one of these games would actually be a lot of fun. So 22nd, genius, surprisingly family friendly. This is gonna be so good now. This is the heaviest one. It's glass. This one's gonna be Christmas drinking glasses and that's gonna be plates. On the 23rd of December, the day before the big finale, we, we receive a mug and coffee? Oh, this is gingerbread. This is gingerbread flavored coffee. This is actually a really good idea for the 23rd because you have to stay up. We've got a mug that says, Mommy Shark, dude, dude, dude. It's a Mommy Shark mug. <laughs> Mommy? This is so weird. Like they saved out of everything that we've had, they saved a Mommy Shark mug for the 23rd of December. I cannot stress this enough. A mommy shark do do do. How do you sing that? Mommy shark do 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 do. Mommy shark do 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 do. Mommy shark do 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 do. I think the beat is wrong. If it wasn't enough that it says mommy shark on it, it's musically incorrect. This smells kind of weird actually. This is coffee, gingerbread flavored coffee. It smells like burned coffee. This is gonna be terrible. Okay, actually, surprisingly, considering that it's got no milk, no sugar, it's just black coffee. I think we've tried one of these beanies on an advent calendar on a previous year. I think we didn't like most of them, but this one, the gingerbread flavor, I kind of recommend this. I'm not sure about the Mummy Shark mug. Oh my god, I should have my Virgo placement when I don't have a coaster. If I hadn't had three coffees today already, I would drink this whole thing. It's pretty good. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. 24th of December. This is always the most exciting part of any advent calendar. I literally don't even usually like most of the days. Up to the 24th, I am expecting greatness. I am expecting to have to pixelate this as well. I mean, for Christmas Eve, our last advent calendar, we've got... It's a... It's a luxury hot chocolate collection, velvet rich hot chocolate bomb. Filled with marshmallows? That's pretty incredible. And they sent two as well, which obviously they didn't have to. This is really cute for the 24th. Like, enjoy a cup of hot chocolate. It's got instructions. I better not have to cook. This went from cute to scary very quickly. And it expires on the 31st of January of 2023. They gave us food poisoning all month, except on Christmas day. They really care about us. This is great. This is also an incredible just Christmas present in general. If you give anyone in your family a hot chocolate bomb, but I'm gonna open one of them. I think they're exactly the same. These were probably expensive because it does say luxury on it and they're not expired, so. Oh, they do look expensive. That kind of looks like a lush bath bomb. I think that's probably the whole point. Watch me drop this. I love it. I think we really need to try this. I mean, we cannot finish the 24th of December without trying this. And I've got one that I can actually use for Christmas Eve. So I'm gonna save this one. Pause this, go get your hot chocolate. We're gonna enjoy this together. So this is a very hot glass of milk. And to this, we're gonna add our luxury hot chocolate. I didn't realize there's an opening in the bottom. It's truly like a bath bomb, kind of like interesting. I'm gonna use it while the milk is still warm. Otherwise this is not gonna work. Okay, nothing is happening so far. I kind of want to see the marshmallows. Is something happening? 
Oh, I think it's like a... Oh, oh that kind of looks interesting. It looks like a, a chocolate sundae or something. So the chocolate goes to the bottom and the marshmallows stay floating on top. It's kind of beautiful. Oh, I'm trying to show you the marshmallows. You can kind of see them floating. I'm just going to use this to mix it. That is very good. Ooh, you see all that chocolate in the bottom? We really got to mix that in because we're not getting hot chocolate color yet. We're getting there though. Keep in mind that I'm very impatient and I just can't wait for things. You see all the marshmallow bits on top and then it's very dark and nice in the bottom. It's actually really nice. This looks like an expensive, looks like you bought it from a coffee shop on Christmas. So this is the perfect 24th. The Christmas magic throughout this whole video, particularly with the edible underwear, priceless. Mm. Oh my God, that is so good, but it's so hot. It's like a marshmallow foam on top. Literally, this puts to shame Starbucks hot chocolate. It's not even fully melted yet, so I think we're gonna get there eventually. I can only hope that you guys actually went and got a snack and sat down and just had a very cozy Christmassy time watching this video, even though it might have been slightly inappropriate at times. If you did, you know what to do, and please don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on. Only if you like my videos and only if you're looking forward to more Christmas content, I will deliver. I feel like I've delivered today and I feel like I will carry on delivering until Christmas. So I love you guys and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.